Hey everyone, I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance, your editor-in-chief, your everything at Nintendo Prime. And today I'm kind of doing a little bit of an off-the-cuff video because it's been a couple days since we've had a video. Uh, we've been doing a lot of live streaming this past week, lots of Breath of the Wild. We also had an additional stream earlier today uh, from 5J Gaming over on our Twitch channel. We'll put a link down in the description to our Twitch channel for those who would like to catch all the additional streams that we do not also broadcast here on YouTube. So, I just want to talk about the Switch, and in particular, just give you some of my impressions. Now, we do have a podcast that we'll be hopefully recording tomorrow, uh, but we didn't have a podcast this past week because Eric and I wanted to spend a ton of time with the Switch. So just to prove to you that I, I even have the dang thing, which I shouldn't have to after all the live streams, here it is. There's the Switch. Uh, as you can see, I have the two blue Joy-Con controllers, but that's not everything. Obviously, I have the grip and the dock and all that great stuff. Uh, I have the Pro Controller, got an extensive experience playing in a dock mode Pro Controller, um, and I have more than, you know, it says, you know, playing Zelda, but I have more than just Zelda on this system, okay? Day one, I bought Zelda, I also had uh, one to switch got Snipper Clips the next day, and I also have Just Dance 2017, mostly because I wanted to test out more accuracy with the motion controls, plus uh, Just Dance is just a fun game, I, I like dancing, it it it's kind of one of the ways I work out, and I, I'm pretty impressed, to be honest, uh, I know some people have had issues, uh, as an example, I know that some people have had the dock scratch their screen. And it does appear that the screen itself is plastic uh, with an LCD underneath it. So instead of having a, a glass cover over the LCD panel, it's actually plastic. Uh, which means at a hardness of 2 or whatever it scratches, which is very easy to scratch. It means you could scratch it with your fingernail. Uh, it can obviously scratch with the plastic on the dock. Uh, that is why I have a glass, I don't know if you can tell, uh, I have a glass screen protector on my Switch. And that's one reason why. I, because it doesn't have glass. It's plastic. So I wanted a piece of glass over it. Uh, besides th that issue, um, I have not had the Joy-Con desyncing issues. I do have two sets of Joy-Cons. So I, I want to do like a test later uh, where I go over, you know, it, are one set of Joy-Cons better than the other? Like the set that came with the system, I got the black Joy-Cons. Or, I'm sorry, the gray Joy-Cons. Uh, are they better than the separate set I got with the blue Joy-Cons? Uh, or is there signal differences in the exact same situation, whether it be in my office or on a TV in another room where I'm away from, you know, in my office I have tons of electronics, but in other rooms I don't. Uh, so just kind of gauging that and seeing if there's signal interference closer to the router, further away from the router, etc. Uh, but I'm very impressed by this system. Uh, not just because of Breath of the Wild. Obviously Breath of the Wild is what it is. Uh, we are working on a review of Breath of the Wild. Now, I can't tell you when this review is actually going to come because Breath of the Wild is a game I think is best played without rushing your way through it, right? So even if we had gotten a review copy of the game, which we didn't, our copy of Breath of the Wild is fully purchased, special edition right here, fully purchased out of my own pocket. Uh, it It's something that I want to take some time with. Uh, I have an idea of what the score is going to be, but again, scores are not the only way you should really judge a game. Context matters. And right now, I, I want to get full context of this game. Uh, full disclosure, I have not even beaten the full story mode yet, because I spent a ton of time exploring. I'm a couple dungeons in, got some nice stuff. Uh, I can also tell you that our review isn't going to be concerning itself with spoilers. So that means there might be spoilers in the review. I can't tell you for sure. I've only written part of it. Um, I'm not making a conscious effort to include spoilers, but I'm not going to make a conscious effort to leave them out. I know a lot of other review outlets have gone out of their way to make sure there were no spoilers in it, but since my review is coming much later after the game comes out, it might be a month after, uh, I feel like we've kind of reached a point where everything's going to be known about the game anyways, so there's no point for me to concern myself with spoilers, so I will obviously put a proper warning in the literal review if that comes to pass. And it's going to be a video review, and it's going to be technically the very first video review we've ever done at Nintendo Prime. Uh, one of the very first reviews we've ever done, and there's going to be also an, an editorial version of this review on the website at nintendoprime.net. Uh, so you can obviously go read it if you don't have time to watch it. 
Uh, but that's not all we're going to be reviewing. Um, as I said, I have snipper clips. I want to get a video review in for that. The only reason that hasn't happened yet is because my primary focus is Breath of the Wild. Now, getting back to the Switch itself. You see, obviously I played a lot of Breath of the Wild, played some Just Dance, played 1-2 Switch, played Snipper Clips, played it in a variety of situations, right? I've done live streams, I've done just it docked playing on my TV, I have taken it to my other job where I'm an after-school teacher and played 1-2 Switch and Just Dance and Snipper Clips with a whole group of people, so I kind of kind of get the idea of what it's like in a party situation. I got an idea of what it's like to play it with children, be it my own children or children at my work. Um, and obviously, I've gotten you know uh, snipper clips. I actually got to play for the first time with my girlfriend and got to see what it's like in a couple situation. You know, is it a kind of game that as couples you want to play? Um, is one two switch a kind of game that you really want to have at a party? Or is it something that you just kind of want to do casually on the side? Uh, we'll have a review of all four of those games via Just Dance 2017, 1-2 uh, Switch, Snipper Clips, and Breath of the Wild. Those are what, what we have coming up in the next month or two for reviews. But the Switch itself is a very impressive system in that it doesn't really overpromise what it's supposed to do. It just does it and does it well from my perspective. Now, I will say that... Uh, if you buy the Switch and you do not buy a Pro Controller, you're going to think the controls are just fine. Um, you know, I personally think they're a little small for my hands, but overall, I've had no problem if I, if I take off this Joy-Con. I have had no problems playing it sideways, going, you know, using the shoulder buttons up here. When I slide on, I'll do it right now. When I slide on one of these bad boys, I have had... Not that much of an issue. Some people made a big issue about taking these off. Now I'm having an issue putting it on. Just gotta line it up right. Alright. So, some people have had issues with taking these off. I haven't. Uh, so, just to give you an example, I'll unlock it. Hold it like this against my body. Press the button. Pull. It really wasn't that hard. Um, and I don't want and I don't want to be like oh over time. It's gotten easier It actually has just been that easy for me the whole time I think the reason that taking these off has become like this issue um, is because it, they're small and Unlike when you take it off the switch, which does feel smoother The difference taking it off the switch is that you have this giant unit you're holding on to that's a lot more sturdy when you pull it off Okay, when you put it on to these it's hard when you unlock it and you go to pull it. It's hard because there's not a lot of heft here. There's not a lot of, you know, like, angles. Like, when you notice when you pull it off the switch, where am I holding? I'm holding over here. I'm not holding right up next to the Joy-Con. So I think that's where the difficulty came from. That's why I have found put it against the body whoop, and pull up. That, I mean, it's not that difficult. So you just kind of need that leverage that you have when you have it with the system that you don't otherwise. So I don't actually think there's a design flaw with these at all. Um, I will say putting these on does make the controller more comfortable, uh, be it in one to switch uh, with the milking game, be it uh, playing sideways. Like I actually thought that this was going to be a cramped kind of setup, um, and it looks cramped, but after doing it for several hours at a time, it, it's not bad. Um, I'm actually surprised at how playable this setup really is. I, I have had literally no issue playing this way for hours at a time. Um, so... It might look weird. It might feel weird, even without you know. Even if you take this off, um, it's locked. See, you gotta make sure it's unlocked first. Oh, drop the Joy-Con. All right. So, even even like this, which I I made sure I also did, especially with snipper clips, played for a few hours this way. Never had my hand hurt. Never felt cramped. It was surprisingly. It's just it's just so awkward. It feels awkward holding it, but it never actually like felt weird over time if, if that makes sense um the switch isn't perfect I'll, I'll never pretend that any system is perfect no matter how big a fan of it i am um i can safely tell you that nintendo switch is probably my favorite nintendo system probably since maybe the gamecube arguably since the super nintendo and i say that because it's simple it just works you put in a game cartridge and you get to play the game there's no installs, there's no downloading, there's no wait time, load times are really, really fast. Um, I have two games digitally, two games phys physically. Uh, I Breath of the Wild physical and 1-2-Switch physical. Um, I have Snipper Clips and Just Dance. Um, both digital. No, I do not have an SD card. So, uh, you know, I'm probably going to have to look into an SD card if I want to do some more digital games. But 
overall, I've been really, really impressed with the system. The UI is very slick, and I, I, I don't really have a lot of complaints outside of the fact that the uh, online functionality isn't fully there. Uh, it's also really weird that the, uh, the play activity log is really, really weird. So I had some people tell me that the play activity log, like we even reported it, unlocks after a week. Well, on my system, I, I first played Breath of the Wild eight days ago as of the, this recording, and there's no play time. So I don't really know what you have to do to unlock that play time. And several people have said it, it just showed up. They didn't do anything. There's no setting for it. So I'm a little confused. Um, I also heard that like it, it's supposed to have your, your last 20 games. I think that's even what it says here in the information. It says, yes, it'll display up to 20 titles. Okay. Notice how on my list, I don't know how well this shows up on camera. I have Breath of the Wild, Just Dance, Snipper Clips. Where is 1-2 Switch? I just played it yesterday. Um, so there's little issues like that all throughout the system. Where like the play activity log doesn't seem to be perfect, which is why you might notice I still have the parental thing on because I'm tracking my play hours through that. Um... So just a lot of, lot of little things. But in general, everything is really snappy. Um, I know some people are disappointed that it doesn't have like the cool menu music like on Wii and Wii U and DS and 3DS. Um, I don't really care. I don't think I ever bought those systems thinking, man, I should have some sick menu music. It's just not really my cup of tea. Um, I just want to get to games as fast as I can. And right now, this is probably the fastest I've gotten to games, uh, maybe since the Super Nintendo era. Uh, I say that because the NES era, you always had a blow in the cartridge. Um, everyone knows the pain of that if you grew up in the 80s. Uh, so, yeah, it's I, I'm I'm pretty thrilled overall with this system. I, I don't have a lot, a lot of negatives to say about it. Um, it has been fantastic playing in all figure, configurations, be it uh, in table mode, you know, with the kickstand out. Uh, I will say the kickstand is a little bit, you kind of have a little bit of a, a fingernail to get it out. Um, but I popped it off a couple times. It snaps right back on. Super easy. I had no issue playing in tabletop mode. No issue with playing the Joy-Con sideways. The screen quality seems pr up to snuff. Like, if you didn't tell me it was a 720p screen, I probably wouldn't know that it's 720p. Um, over here, I have an iPhone 6S Plus. This is what I do a lot of my recording with. Um, and it's like, I think it's a 1080p screen. Maybe it's a 4K screen because it records in 4K. I don't know off the top of my head but i know it's higher than 720 and honestly like when i put them side by side i couldn't tell you the difference to be honest um that's what's so amazing about the screen it's definitely a high quality screen even with it being um a plastic uh a plastic film they put over the top instead of glass obviously that was a cost saving measure um and maybe that's why people are experiencing scratches in the dock that obviously I've been experienced because I've had a cover on it since day one. First was I first I had a plastic film screen from Hori, which even the their cheap one and their professional one, they're both terrible. Just just go on Amazon, get an unofficial uh, glass tempered glass one. That's what I did. Um, and even with it not being fully stuck down in this corner because I think there's a piece of dust or something. I can't remember. Um, it feels fantastic. It feels just like my phone. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. So. What I want to know is your guys' reaction to the Switch. Do you own one? If you do, do you have any concerns? Are there, if you run into issues, have you, has your left Joy-Con, you know, I haven't taken that off here yet, is that left Joy-Con desynced for you? Um, and what have you bought? You know, you know, I obviously got the special edition and my 1-2 Switch, um, extra, extra Joy-Cons and straps and all this stuff. But I'm curious, you know, what are your guys' reaction to the Switch? Because um, I've had a wholly positive experience, and I'm actually curious for anyone who's had a negative experience because uh, I want to have a conversation. I, I want to open the floor up, come back to this in a new video where I go over some of the concerns some people have or some issues. Or maybe you have some testing you guys want me to do with the Switch. Maybe you want me to do distance testing with the left Joy-Con. Uh, just let me know in the comments below uh, what you would like to know about the Switch if I didn't go over it or what concerns you have or what issues you've had um, with your own Switch. Uh, otherwise, thanks for tuning in to Nintendo Prime. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. Have a good day.